Hello everybody, it's Jason Donnelly, aka DJ Puzzle, reporting from my website iPadLoops.com, and this is Whoa Voice Synth by Q Neo. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not dive into recording samples just yet. We will get to that feature in just a few moments. Stick around. Now, hey, this is a vocoder, right? This is a very modern vocoder. It's not like the uh, vintage analog style vocoder like uh, you've seen in my other video for uh, Der Voco, for example. This is a modern vocoder and it's called voice synth for a reason. It's not just a vocoder, it's a synth and a sampler. And rather than focus on what the vocoder does, everyone now by this point probably knows how to use a vocoder or what a vocoder does, at least to some degree. Uh, but I think what makes voice synth stand out is the sampling capabilities. The sampler in voice synth is the money, and that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm just playing with the uh, format shift and uh, switching the uh, different uh, settings here. You've got natural, robot, breath, and designer. You know, designer is where you go in and design the synth. There's four oscillators here. It's where you're going to design your synth carrier. Okay. And in the synth carrier, like I said, you have four oscillators with uh, each with a different uh, waveform and uh, some slew parameters, things you can really mess with and dive into to tweak the, uh, the carrier synth, okay? As far as I know, I don't see a way to use an external carrier. It's all built in here, but these with these four oscillators and the effects built into this bad boy, you can really achieve a lot. Um, this is one of the aspects that would make this app a bit more advanced than uh, a simpler vocoder such as their voco um, the internal carrier has a lot more to it synth wise um, so here i'm bringing in another melody uh, one thing i want to point out is these melodies and bass lines and sounds that you're hearing come out of this voice synth they're all based on samples, okay? I'm running the uh, first instant, instance of voice synth through Sugarbytes Wow to get uh, a nice kind of uh, wobbly dubstep vibe. I got Perforator on the other, on the melody, to kind of chop it up and give it a little rhythmic uh, movement. So again, these, what you're hearing here, the source of this sound, the modulator, is a sample. And I'm using the preset samples that come with it. I'll show you how to record your own later. Um, the EQ here is pretty slick. You've got designer mode now. You can mess with the format shift here. These are all the presets up here. These are samples that came with it, okay? Basically, all they are is their voice samples, someone talking into a microphone, that's it, okay, saying little phrases and stuff. You can go natural, which is like the human sound. It's, okay. You're getting uh, some effects on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is dial them back. And now you get a better idea as to what the dry sample sounds like. Let me just bypass perforator. And now I'm triggering that sample with Rosetta bass line, okay? Sorry, I had the wrong one open. This is it. Now you can see where I'm triggering and the notes that I'm using. I'm sending MIDI over to the MIDI AU version, the, the version that responds to MIDI. This is the instrument version of voice synth, okay? So it's not in the effects slot, if you notice. And I'm using 
another Rosetta bass line to trigger my bass sound over on the other track, the other voice synth track here, okay? And that, again, is a sample, okay? I'll try to get that dry for you here in a second. All right, now, why does this sample sound different? It sounds more like a synth than someone talking, doesn't it? Well, the source sample is someone saying welcome. All right, if you notice up here, there's a little looping, like a little granular, like a grain loop, okay, up here. It's like kind of like a, gran, a granular, it's kind of like granular synthesis here. It's grabbing a really tiny bit of that sample and it's looping it, okay? And you can move that around to choose what bit of that sample you want in that little looper, okay? And when you release the key, it plays here, welcome, it plays the rest of the sample. I'm also going through Sugar Bites Wow right now, so you're gonna hear a little of that effect. It's not totally dry. Um, so here's the natural kind of human voice, okay? If I didn't have Sugar Bites Wow on right now, you'd hear it completely dry the way that it was recorded. It's just a regular human voice recording. And we're gonna dial in a little wet here, and that does the vocoding, okay? Now, I've got the designer, it's the carrier. It's a synth now. We're going to vocode it. Okay. You've got all these different settings here. You can you can trim the sample here. Sorry, it's kind of finicky. And now it'll just play when you release the key. It'll that's the end point that I just set. That's as far as it'll go. It won't play the full welcome. It'll just play well. You can see it there well. Okay. So now I'm just using well and it's looping that little granular segment. And it's giving us this kind of uh, dubstep growl. You're getting a it's pretty wicked dubstep growling sound, okay? So if you're into dubstep or that sound, this is a pretty easy way. Experiment with it. You'll probably dial something in that sounds exactly like what you're looking for. Um, because like I said, there's a lot you can do with voice synth and with the designer. Now these samples up here... Uh, preset samples, okay. Now when I dial in the uh, vocoder, uh, you can hear it sounds more like a synthesizer. Pretty cool, huh? I'm stoked. All right, this is the mic through, okay? What mic through will do is when you're, uh, it, it's pretty much overriding the, uh, the vocoder, okay? It's kind of just doing a microphone through. Now, we don't have a mic in this right now. It's not set up that way. It's, um, that would be using this app in the effect slot or standalone. So we don't have a microphone input. Going into this, we're using the instrument version. Uh, so with mic through, you're gonna also get, that's another way to just listen to the dry sample with no effects. Now up here, we can zoom our selection in and out. And if we hit record, this record sample, it says no record import in audio unit version. Okay, so here you can delete, rename, and duplicate your sample. All right, and then you've got these little buttons over here, and this changes the way the uh, sample is triggered on the keyboard. Ah, I screwed up, and I left the mic through button on. Okay, so some of these pitch parameters weren't uh, the format, for example. Yeah, nothing was happening. Okay, we're good now. So just... Um, if you do hit that mic through, make sure that you hit it again if you want to use the vocoder because, like I said, it kind of overrides all the, uh, the vocoding goodness. 
Okay, so back to messing with the sample with the vocoder on. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with a voice sample in there. Imagine bringing in a sample from, uh, you know, anything really. A guitar, or drums, um, your cat, uh, baby crying. Um, I mean, you name it, drums. You could probably make some really killer synth presets using, uh, you know, experimenting with different samples and then loading them in here and then applying the uh, designer, the vocoder, the designer. Uh, and wow. Yeah, uh, I'm just kind of already getting ideas talking about it. So, um, so these... Uh, buttons up here will show you different ways of triggering the sample all right you kind of mess around with those and find what you're looking for um there's one that if you hold it down it plays the little granular loop and then when you release the key it plays the rest of the sample or you could just have it play the granular loop section uh so yeah i've completely mangled what I had done originally by running through this tutorial with you. But hey, that's all good. I saved my own session. So let's keep mangling it. Let's keep, let's keep bucking it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I don't want to save. I want to load, okay? All right, we are back. So just a quick run through here. I'm using Zox to uh, trigger the hi-hats in BS16i. I really like their live natural acoustic hi-hats for my dubstep grooves. So I've got BS16i and Zox, and then I've got Zox and uh, Beat Hawk using the dubstep samples. Real punchy kick and snare. Combine those two sound great. Now Axon 2, my, this is my signature tops electro perk trick. I have a video for that. I'll post the link above and in the description to get deeper into how I set that up. But I use it in almost everything now. Okay, Axon 2 for electro percussion and percussion drum tops. Brilliant. All right. It really adds another dimension to the drums. Oops, forgot to put it through the uh, bus A where everything else is going. On bus A, I've got a maximizer and then I've got like a kind of mastering EQ thing going there. An app called Audio Master to be precise uh, using the electronic preset. I love using BS16i, the synth bass, real simple, lightweight. Driving it with Rosetta Bassline. All right. And of course, over here, Voice Synth, right? And now Voice Synth is running through Sugarbytes Wow. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, how do you actually get your samples recorded into Voice Synth? Okay, so on the recording samples into Voice Synth. Welcome to Voice Synth. Now, as we mentioned earlier, recording is not possible within the AU instrument version. So we have to load voice synth in standalone mode. And up here you'll see that's your sampler. Okay, that's sample record. You hit that up there, you can import too. Now over here, that's record for the tape. Don't, don't use that right now. That's for something else. We're recording samples. And it's already recording, check it out. 
Okay, so we recorded with the effect on, with the vocoder on, okay? As I mentioned earlier, the best way to do this is to get a dry sample and to use the mic through feature. That will give us the dry sample, okay? So let's redo it with mic through. Uh, I don't want to save that. Uh, just go ahead and uh, hit record again for now, okay? Check one, two. This is my voice with no processing. All right. That's with mic through, okay? Completely Check dry. one, two. This is my voice with no processing. Is that your start point? Turn that mic through off, go into designer mode. Maybe mess with the EQ. All right. Okay, so you can save the preset if you want, and uh, you're good to go. That's it. Pretty easy. Uh, now, tape. Tape is like recording audio. I'm recording right now, actually. It's uh, recording our performance as audio. Okay. So it's kind of like a tape, like a looper. And you can create all these little uh, tape recordings of yourself performing on the instrument and kind of use those to, uh, to jam, you know, and trigger those as like patterns. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope this helped. And uh, I'm really stoked about this app. I know it's an older app. This version is really awesome. I mean, it's an audio unit now. And I just got it. The developer sent it to me. So I literally just got this app. And I'm, I'm already like super stoked and inspired now. I'm going to make some dubstep growls. That's going to be my next uh, project. And so anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing. You're great. I love you. Please support my channel by checking out the video description below. You can buy from my app links down there. Or you could share my video and tell your friends and spread the love. Until next time, thanks for watching.